this is a quick uh, tutorial for myself uh, to make sure that my microphone is set up correctly and that when I use, say, Skype or something, um, the OBS filters will take my raw input that I talk with, put it through the audio input, change it with the filters, and then put it back out with audio output, which will then act as a, like a secondary mic. Even though I'm talking to this mic, it goes through a virtual mic again. That virtual mic I can select in Skype to then say, hey, I'm going to talk with the virtual mic. So then after all this filters and stuff are done and OBS puts it out again as the output, um, that, be, that sends it to the virtual mic because otherwise the virtual mic, nothing gets talked to. So you need OBS running and and then yeah you have it all set up like that and so i can tell it's working because both audio input capture and audio output capture uh the bars are, are basically both moving so they're it's capturing it sometimes for whatever reason when sound settings are changed um the the audio output is it, it like shuts itself off so in that in that case, if the audio output has like an error or something, just logging off the computer, logging back on, will make the audio output service start again, or or whatever it is, or the driver. I, I'm assuming, but I don't know. So that's how that's how that works, which is good. So if the audio output isn't moving with the bars, and you know you know it should be, try logging off, logging on again. Um, Next thing, let's look at the settings because recording this and then not having a recording this and not having a uh, uh, echo um, requires that the audio input has a monitor only set for for mute output, and because that way otherwise you get double, you get both the original mic saying something and then you get the virtual mic also saying something, and OBS by doing this thing mute mute the the output of this it's saying yeah i'm going to register what you're saying but i'm not going to i'm not going to um co record uh this particular uh microphone which which is amazing because then it records the virtual microphone only so that's how it uh sort of goes like that and there's like a very slight delay with a sync offset um when 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 it goes through all the filters and stuff but that's i'm fine with that like that makes that makes my life so much easier. So that's that's that setting for OBS, and that's how it's set up with the audio input set to the Yeti, um, audio output sent to the cable input, which is the virtual mic. Um, that's how that's set. Um, let's look at, uh, sorry, uh, sound settings. So in sound settings, output device is set to just my normal speakers, um, or you could set it to headphones or whatever but just uh, to something normal uh input this is set to the cable output the vb audio virtual um i don't know but for whatever reason this seems to be what i need to do or for whatever reason i need to set the input to the to the virtual like instead of instead of my normal microphone i have to set it to this to this virtual microphone i'm not sure why that is i don't really understand Okay, so we're gonna go sound control panel. So in the sound control panel, um, if we just take a quick little look, sound control panel. Um, in the sound control panel, uh, we have um, playback. I have set to default device and also default um, default communication as well. Like I have both default device and default communication set to the Realtek audio speakers. Is fine. There is the cable input here. I don't think we have to do anything with that. It's all, it's all just good. I mean, I made sure all the sounds are set to 441. That's what the audio books and stuff want. Um, so that's that. The recording side. This is the tricky one. This is the one that keeps messing me up. Cable output is both default device and default communication device. Cable output's both. It's everything. So if we go into cable output here and we go to listen, we have it set to the speakers. Have it to, don't have it set to default device. Have it set to the speakers. Um, honestly, I, I'm not sure if both need to be set the same way, but I, when I try using default device, everything just messes up, and I don't know why. I don't understand. This is just how it is. And I have, again, set everything to 441. Um, that's that. 
the Yeti Nano mic. For whatever reason, sometimes when you change audio settings, um, the levels go down to zero for microphone. And so if it seems like your main microphone's not working, check here. Make sure the audio is, is up to, say, say, 75 for this. For me, 75. 100 is too much, and it's a bit blurry, fuzzy, staticky. It's not. It's not. So, yeah, as for listen, just have it set to default playback device. That's what all of them generally are set to. Um, and advanced 441. And so this, I have shown the full setting range. And then for Skype, which is... Um, in the Skype settings and audio and video, um, what you do is for microphone, you make sure it's set to the cable output, which is your uh, virtual microphone. Um, and you can tell it's working because they're, they're, they're the dots moving when I'm talking. So that's how you know that your main microphone is going through OBS. OBS is sending this to your to your um, virtual microphone, and then your virtual micro microphone is being used by Skype. And Skype, when it when the virtual microphone gets sound, Skype goes, "Oh yeah, this, that's this is what I'm looking for." And then after all the filters and everything, that's how you get to, to the cable output. Um, that's that. Uh, speakers adjust that again to my. Um, I don't need to worry about the OBS camera. I was thinking that was something that was required to make the, the microphone work. It's not. It's just it's the camera side of it, too. If you want to do special effects in OBS, and then have that, have Skype use that um, as a virtual camera, just like a virtual microphone, and then that way you're displaying stuff with all the effects from OBS. Change your background to, like, I don't know, whatever OBS can do do that so if you want to drag in hopping around or something and anyway that's how that one works um i mean yeah my obs camera if i want to i could show them my desktop or something i guess i could turn it on and then the camera actually shows my desktop as opposed to like what whatever it's whatever you want to display with obs that, that's what it, um yeah it's very very cool um yeah, uh, that really is everything. And you can tell this is working because both Yet Yeti Nano Mic and the cable output when I'm talking, both of them here, you can see that they're getting getting the, the information. So again, if for whatever reason something stops working, you can just try and log off, log on again. That should kick things back into gear just for whatever reason. That usually means you've changed some sound settings. Why this setup breaks and changing it back to this setup for whatever reason doesn't work because then like service has stopped or aired out or whatever and doesn't restart itself and that makes it like really hard to troubleshoot so yeah just first first step in troubleshooting log off log on again that's the that's the first step of troubleshooting the uh, virtual audio cable that's the, the first first step of troubleshooting software um yeah no that's that's everything awesome recording